Hi, I'm the Multifarious Fisherman. This is Seven Fish. We're in a rain office today. What I want to talk about is a technique that has caught me most of my bigger bass that I've caught. I tend to fish speed. I tend to cover a lot of water but a number of the bigger bass that I've caught have been on jigs. And a jig is a slower technique, so it's not one that I automatically go to, but these big bass jigs, this one happens to be a football head, but they allow you to fish tight to cover. They have a weed guard that prevents that from getting hung in the cover, so you can fish right through it. And I fish a jig quite slowly. Uh, Typically when I'm fishing a jig, I want to run a trailer. And this is one trailer. It's a color that I use quite a bit around here um, in lakes where bass eat bluegill. I think this lighter tip acts a little bit like the blue, that light blue tail on the backside of a bluegill. And I think it, it reminds a bass of food and I, and I tend to get bit on that particular color around here, clear or dirty water. So for whatever reason. Uh, I don't necessarily want this to be a super long profile. I want it to be pretty compact when I'm fishing it. And that's one of the things I like about this versus a, a worm. There's a guy they used to call the big bass professor, Doug Hannon. And Doug Hannon said that the bigger fish tend to like a more compact profile, not a long skinny profile. Long skinny profile is great for getting bit. It's a good action technique but a short fat profile tends to attract the bigger fish and it's a little bit more of a something to get them interested, get their attention. So to shorten this up, this is the larger size and I want the larger size because I want the bulk and I want to slow that jigs fall a little bit. What I will do is I will shorten it by biting about three segments off of that. And I'll just pull them off. I run that jig right into the middle of the end of that bait. I will rotate the bait on the hook until it comes out as centered as I can. And then I will run that up. The jig has a keeper right here. And if I run that onto the keeper, that thing will stay on there. Nice, compact, kind of bluegill shaped, jig a lot of people think when you're fishing a jig you're emulating a crawfish and you may be but it doesn't really matter what you're emulating it's something that the bass wants to pick up and and eat and they have a tendency when i'm when i'm fishing this i have a tendency to hook them in the top of the mouth at the back so they're hitting it they're going right in and i set the hook pretty quickly i don't give them a lot of time to carry that around um, and it'll almost always be a roof of the mouth hook set I've lose very few fish on jigs, and like I said, it can be a, a better technique for big fish. Thanks for joining us on Tuesday. See you next Friday. <laughs>